What's going on, On Blast gamers and comic book readers alike? Welcome to another On Blast comic book haul video. This is video number 34, and we are reviewing all of our week's pickups. Um, this is dating all the uh, comic book releases for June 10th, 2020. Thank you guys for joining, as always. Um, so this week was a little weird. Um, everything's kind of getting back into, you know, somewhat normality. Um, DC is pretty much the only company that's really coming out full strength and are really pretty much trying to make moves um, for the industry. As you, as we saw with May, you know, they were really pushing the envelope and um, releasing, you know, comic books. Uh, Marvel still hasn't found a uh, a release schedule or at least a more reliable uh, release schedule. Um, and the indies are somewhat, you know, they're trying to they're trying to compete. Also, they're trying to come out, but DC for the most part full swing ahead, and most of our um, haul is going to be DC heavy this week. But we got some good books, and this week marks the uh, release for uh, the 100-page uh, Super Spectacular of the Joker, the Joker 80th Anniversary books, which is big for us because, um, as you guys know, I'm a big Joker fan, so we definitely got a few variants. Um, I tried to keep myself from getting all of them, so I got the ones that I like the most, but we got about six, five or six. And that's, that's quite of a lot of the same book. Um, but before we start with all the uh, comic book goodness, let me just, you know, always remind you guys that I definitely thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for viewing the channel, subscribing, liking, you know, all that good stuff. I uh, just want to thank you guys. Also, you guys can follow me on any of these uh, links above. You got my Instagram, obviously the YouTube, which you're viewing this video right now. And also my Twitch channel. Um, you also have my Twitter there. I don't use Twitter. My preferred um, social media platform to uh, use is Instagram. Just because there's, you know, not too much going on there. And honestly, I'm not really social media savvy. Um, I try to be, but it's a lot of work. And I just don't post that frequently. Um, you might catch me posting some comic book haul pictures um, of the comic book haul the comic books that I pick up other than that I mean I try to get more involved with social media it's just it's not my thing unfortunately um, I am trying to start like editing videos and clips and trying to like get that more involved into my uh, into my social media where at least I could have the Instagram promote this channel so maybe we're gonna do some some sort some sort of stuff like that in the future but for right now, it's just pretty, pretty much plain, you know, comic book post and maybe some video game post here and there. Um, what we have playing in the background, um, just to give a shout out, we have the band Mute Mutant and the, the name of the track, the title of the track is, what the hell is the title? It is Panther Blood. So this is Panther Blood. By Mute Mutant, if you guys want to check them out. Try to, you know, promote them. Really cool synthwave band. We usually promote a lot of synthwave. Um, I think it goes along with uh, my comic book videos, and I just really like it a lot. Um, it's got that retro 80s kind of um, game style somewhat. Um, so, really cool stuff if you guys want to check them out. And, of course, got to give my local comic my local comic book shop shop a shout out all fucking crazy i'm tripping over myself there so uh best comics international um great comic shop that's where i do all my uh all my comic book purchasing um they are located here in the new york region long island um if you guys live in the five boroughs or in long island definitely visit them great group of guys um, always hooking it up, always coming through with the, uh, 
with the halls and the books. Um, and they have just a great assort assortment of books in the shop. And they they work with you on prices. They have one of the you know they have the best prices out there. Um, and they're always there uh, giving you a good deal. So definitely check them out if you're in the New York region. Um, if you're not, don't worry about it. Um, they do have a website, bestcomics.com. And uh, you can go over there, visit them. Um, they do ship out to you. Um, they also have an eBay page, um, Best Comics Worldwide. You can find them on eBay. Again, a lot of great books, a lot of great deals on sale. And they will ship it out to you. So really cool stuff. They have been doing some um, comic book claim sales on Instagram. Um, so you could always catch those. Definitely follow them on Instagram. And um, yeah, now let's get let's get to the show and tell. So this is um, all the books that released on June 10th. Um, we're gonna start off with the indies, and then we're gonna progress with the DC since um, we only got a few books for indie, give or take three. Um, it's an 18 book haul. Um, I think the majority of that haul is the Joker books that we got. But there are some various like Batman books, which you already know if a Batman book comes out, most likely we'll be getting it. Um, so let's start off with the indies. This is Archangel 8, and this is issue number 2. This is by AWA Upshot. Great series. Beautiful cover. Got an angel there with um with a sword, and you got blood splurting out. I'll put that as a top cover pick nominee. I love I love the art for it. Um, I don't have the artist that did it, but I'm thinking that it's the uh, it's the artist on the book. Um, next up, we have a beautiful foil wraparound. This is um. This is Saban's Go Go Power Rangers number 32. This is the cover C variant um, the by Elon uh, Eleonora Carlini. This is the wraparound foil. Let's take this bad boy out just to show. Got to show it off, right? It's the whole point of show and tell. So that's the uh, that's the front right there. Right, got the red, yellow ranger, black ranger, and then you got them in the ranger forms. Beautiful wrap around, loving it. I'm not gonna really open the book just because um, I don't want to fuck with the spine. I like to keep the books in you know good condition, but um, beautiful, uh, beautiful foil cover there, foil wrap around. For uh, Saban's Go Go Power Rangers issue number 32. Alright, next up Vampirella Red Sonia issue number 8. This is the um, cover A regular cover by Jay Lee. Beautiful Jay Lee cover right there. And that takes us right into DC, guys. Like I said, it was a short, short week for uh, for indies, no Marvel. So uh, got some DC here. Batman: The Adventure Continues, issue number one. This is the cover A regular cover by Dave Johnson, and this actually came out in digital format back in April, and they actually started relieving, releasing the. Uh, the uh, floppies for it so uh i was a big big fan of the cartoon batman the animated series so um definitely loving the look of it and I had to grab this had to grab it um love the cover very iconic and we also got the uh cover b for it This is the uh, cover B variant, same issue. 
Batman the Adventure continues. And this is by Dan Mora. Love Dan Mora's art. Once in Future. Um, TMNT Power Rangers. The actual Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. He's done covers for that. Um, love Dan Mora's art. You can see pretty much the whole Bat family right there. Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing. Beautiful cover. We'll put that as a uh, top cover pick nominee. Alright, up next we have Batman 92, Pawns of the Designer. This is the uh, cover A regular cover by Yasmin Putri. Kind of see like a chess match going on where the designer is controlling all the pieces. You got Harley Penguin. You got Punchline back there. Riddler. You know. Batman's Rogue. Right? But um, the beauty of the bunch, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me, is the uh, cover B variant. Batman 92 cover B. This is the um, Stanley Archerm Lau cardstock. And of course you got Punchline on the cover. I think this is a, this is our first um, cover appearance and just a beautiful cover. Archerm always, um, always brings it. And especially for a hot cover, a hot character like this, Punchline. So uh, she's been doing some good stuff. Um, definitely put that as a top cover pick nominee. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Up next, we got the Batman's Grave issue number seven. This is the uh, cover A regular cover by Brian Hitch. Really a uh, great series, action-packed series. A little disappointed because we were covering, we were actually collecting all the cover B variants for this um, specific uh, series, and then for some reason, um, Jing Yun Lee was doing all the cover B variants, and then at some point they just kind of switched them off. I think it was us after issue five, either four or five, and then they started getting different artists to do the cover Bs, which. I would have liked Ji Hoong Lee to do the whole run, just so it's all pretty much in uh, unison, and I don't know. But we did get the cover B variant. Let me switch to that. Um, I wasn't a fan when I saw it, but then it kind of grew on me. Um, this is the uh, Batman's Grave issue number seven. This is the cover B variant by Frank Quitley, and this is also a cardstock. It's not a bad, I mean, Batman kind of looks defeated in this, uh, in this cover, but it is a very nice, uh, portrait piece, and, um, yeah, I definitely did grow to like it, um, so we'll put that as a top cover pick nominee. All right, now the bulk of our comic book haul, this, this is pretty much where the main, let's see how many... This is it. Look at that. All Joker books. So let's go through them. Should be some uh, some really nice, really nice covers in these bad boys. So we're gonna start it off. Joker, the 80th anniversary, 100 page, super spectacular. This is the cover D. Francesco Matina variant. With the Joker Piranhas. Kind of holding the Joker card there. Um, Joker kind of looks... He just looks like psychotic. In this... Uh, if you could see right there. He just looks really psychotic. Um, I do like this cover. It's not going to be down to my favorite. But I do like it a lot. 
So that's the uh, 1960s Francesco Mattina cover D variant for uh, Joker's 80th anniversary Super Spectacular. Next up, we got the um, 1970s Jim Lee, Scott Williams, and Alex Sinclair. This is basically depicting the uh, 1970s Joker. Nice looking Jim Lee cover. Now this is one of my favorites right here. This is the uh, 1990s. This is the cover G 1990s Gabriel Del Otto variant. And this is just you know, Gabriel Gabriel Delato always doing spectacular work. And um This is no less any different. Love this cover. Definitely a top cover pick nominee. Definitely love that. So we got that going. Um next up we have the um cover H variant for the Joker's 80th anniversary. And this is the uh, Lee Bermejo 2000s cover. Beautiful piece of work right there. And another one of my favorites, and definitely a top cover pick nominee, is the uh, Joker 80th anniversary. This is the uh, 2010s by Jock. This is the cover I. Love the colors used. Um, he's holding the battering. And he looks all psychotic and decrepit. Beautiful book. So I chose the Gabriel Delato Jock. I was on the fence about the art germ. I kind of really wanted to use it. But um, I think those two really represent my two favorites um so we'll go with those next up we got justice league issue number 46 and this is the uh cover b variant by clay man nice looking cover right there put that as a top cover pick nominee definitely love that cover um, next up, we got Nightwing, issue 71. This is the uh, cover A, Mike Perkins cover, Joker War tie-in. Got Joker in the background, looking very intimidating. But um, you already know we had to get the cover B variant, and that's that's the that's the beauty right there. Nightwing 71 cover B variant by Alan Qua. And we'll put that down as a top cover pick nominee. So we'll go through them real quick. Just so we're all on the same page, which are the top cover picks. Um, this is the stack of books we got beautiful so we just saw nightwing 71 cover b variant by alan qua next up we got the justice league issue number 46 cover b variant by clay man really nice looking book Joker 80th Anniversary, we have the um, cover I variant by Jock, representing the 2010s. We got the cover G variant by Gabriel Delato, and this is representing the 1990s decade.
we got the Batman's Grave issue number seven. Um, cover B variant by Frank Quitley. Batman issue 92. This is the cover B variant by Stanley Archer Mlau. Card cardstock with a punchline on the cover front and center. Some more Batman books for your liking. If you haven't got enough. Batman the Adventure Continues. Number one. This is the uh, cover B variant by Dan Mora. And to round up our DC Top Cover Pick nominees, we got Batman The Adventure Continues number one. And that's the uh, regular cover A by Dave Johnson. Beautiful iconic cover. The red really pops. And for our two indie books, we have uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go Go Power Rangers, number 32, cover C variant by Eleonora Carolini. This is the wraparound foil. And our last book, Archangel, number 8. Issue number 2. This is the regular cover. There's only one cover for it. Um... And that will take us right into our top three covers of this haul. All right, so let me transition right into our top three cover picks for this haul. And there we go. So here we are, guys. Guys and girls. These are your top three covers, or my my top three covers that I've picked. Um, I know you guys might have different opinions, but I would love to hear from them down in the comments below. These are the top three cover picks of my comic book haul. Um, video number 34. And here we go. Let's see. What do we have? Let's start off with number three. Coming in number three, that beautiful... A beautiful Justice League issue number 46 cover B variant by Clay Man. Number two, Batman issue number 92 cover B variant by Stanley Archer Lau. And we kind of have an idea that the number one cover might be a Joker cover, but which one is it? Coming in number one. For the comic book haul video number 34, detailing all the releases for June 10th, 2020. There it is. We got Joker, the 80th anniversary, 100-page Super Spectacular. Cover G variant by Gabriel Del Otto. And that's the uh, 1990s decade variant. So there they are. Those are your top three picks of my comic book haul for this week. Not that big of a week, but we had some really great books there. Um, Got to read those. Uh, Got to read that Joker book. Beautiful. I mean, if it's anything like the last ones, they have a bunch of short stories. Um, about maybe two, three, four pages each. Um, so we, you know, we, they have a lot of cool names in there. A lot of good writers, a lot of good artists. So uh, I'm very excited to see. But um, thank you guys very much for tuning in. And um, watching my comic book haul video. Hopefully you guys enjoy my pickups. And um, my top three cover picks. Um, till then guys. Keep on reading. Keep on playing video games. And um, I will catch you on the next video. Stay safe out there.